Weather uh, looking pretty good. It is. Uh, quiet tonight, uh, much more humid as we get through the next 24 hours. Okay. So okay. Here we go again. All right. It's August. That's how it goes sometimes. So let's show you uh, outside right now. Mid high level clouds and they're going to look worse than what's really going to happen here this evening. We're going to stay dry temperatures uh, ranging from 75 there in Crawfordsville to near 80 in Carmel and 80 degrees in Bunker Hill. Uh, temperatures will creep up as we go through the next uh, couple of days here. Uh, let's show you how this is going to play out. So here's our vantage point as we look southward. 79 dew point of 60. Wind is from the southwest at 7. Radar locally quiet. The returns you're seeing over in Illinois, not all of which are reaching the ground now, but it does offer a little hint of where the path of the rain and thunderstorms will be overnight tonight. Flood watches remain up for portions of Missouri and south and southern Illinois back across western Kentucky. They're going to get hit once again. Now, are we going to have rain on radar locally overnight tonight? Yes. Thunderstorms? Yes. Uh, the best bet for this to happen is going to be south and southwest of I-74. With that said, I am going to put some showers around at least the potential of some early in the morning. Now, as we go in the afternoon, we're dry. Uh, we're dry from a radar perspective, just a slight chance of something redeveloping with the heat and the mugginess, but it is going to be more humid tomorrow. Uh, I tell you all of this that uh, it's possible, depending on how much shower action, if at all, we have tomorrow morning, and there's a chance that they could move the uh, Colts camp indoors tomorrow. After school weather tomorrow, the story will be the mugginess of the air, just a slight rain and storm chance. And this is going to be a situation over the next 48 hours. Well, areas to the north northeast of Indy are going to be collecting dust in the rain gauge. Areas south southwest have a much better shot getting over a quarter of inch of rain. And then look what takes place. Look at those swaths of very, very heavy rain where they're in this excessive rain outlook. There may be another one or at least two complexes to blast through St. Louis. Uh, here's our forecast as we go through the next seven days. Very muggy on Friday and into the weekend, and it does look like a better chance of showers and thunderstorms around Sunday into Monday as we cool back down a little bit and get less humid for Tuesday and Wednesday.